The Flashforge Adventure 3, fantastic machine, but one problem you're likely to come across pretty soon is this. And that is where the PTFE tube comes out of its connector and you're likely to come back to a print, see it looking something like this. This is mostly down to this little fella, this one here, which isn't the best quality. Uh, the one next to it is one I've got installed at the moment, which is installed uh, quite easily. So we're going to show you today on exactly how to replace that and also ensure that your nozzle's nice and clean. Okay, first thing you're going to notice with these is the new one is not as deep, it's not as easy to get hold of with a spanner um, or wrench. So what you want to do is we're going to head on to the menu, settings, page 2 and then move and you can just reposition the nozzle to make sure it's nice and easy to access. When you've done that, um, unload the filament, which um, I'd already done. I've just put some spare filament in to show an example. And then when the filament's unloaded, turn off your machine. Okay, now it's all turned off. If you wish to make life easier, you can undo this top panel. If you push up and pull away, I've already loosened it, uh, that will come out giving you much easier access to the top unit. The two tools you're going to need for this are the Allen key and the cleaning rod which are both included in the set as well as a new connector which I will link down in the description. First thing you'll need to do is use your Allen key on this um, nut inside here and unscrew that. There you go, once the Allen key is, once the nut is loosened, you should be able to just remove this panel. So carefully pull it up and give it a little jiggle. There you go, both sides. And then if you switch that over to one side, you've got access there to the unit. You'll first need to unscrew this just here. Um, it can be a bit awkward. If you're going to use pliers, please be careful because as I'll so show you on the second angle, it is incredibly close to that motherboard. So a little plastic wrench would be better. And obviously make sure you don't knock or damage the rib. Once you've got connected this back on, you want to replace the top housing. It's easiest if you put the edge in and then click down at the front and you should hear it lock into place and then tighten that back up. You go the housing back in place. We're now going to just make sure this is nice and tight with the Allen key. That seems fine. And now we're going to turn the machine back on. With the machine back on, what we're going to do is head back into the menu under Tools, Setting, sorry, Preheat. There you go. We're just going to preheat the nozzle up to 230 and start that off. Okay, now the nozzle is up to temperature. We've got that at 230. We're going to use this cleaning rod which comes with the printer. Carefully place it in top and just slowly and push that down a little bit and you'll see it's just ejecting any spear filament that's still stuck in the nozzle. There you go and that is pretty much as good as you can get. Another option is to use a needle kit. This one is from Amazon, pretty cheap. Comes with a selection of these fine needles and uh, tweezers. 
which just allow you to clean from the other side, pop it inside the nozzle, uh, which is hard to do on one hand, so I'm not going to do it now because I did do it yesterday. But that now ensures that your nozzle is pretty much as clean as you're going to get it ahead of fitting the new tube. Okay, so now to get things back together again. We know the nozzle is nice and clean, so you want to hold down this blue um, cap. You can feel it as it clicks into place and then feed the tube back in and push and then let go of the black. That is now the blue. That is now nice and tight, so we can pop everything back together and start a print. Okay, now everything is back together. I've also put the lid back on. We can head back on the menu under filament and then just load in the new filament. Okay, that's all back together. Filament's loaded, so let's do a quick test print of one of my little ducks. Okay, and here's finished print. It's come out perfectly fine, no issues at all. Um, Raft was a little bit stuck on the bottom, you might be able to see that, but that's more down to my settings. And um, this is the Flashforge Transparent Red PLA. There you go, thanks for watching.